Let's go ahead and work on our last joint before we mirror our stuff. So I'm going to get a new mesh. And I'm going to get a cylinder. And I'm going to drag out a cylinder like so. We'll make it 225 by 225. Actually, let's make it 250. And we'll bring it up like so. Okay, let's even this up just a little bit here. All right. Now, let's make this a little thinner by grabbing this edge and bringing it down. Now, let's grab this end, this end, hit the B key to bevel it, and let's pull these out like this. Then I'm going to hit the shift key, and I'm going to bevel it in, scale it in with the red handle, hit the shift key again, push it up, okay, shift key, click, and let's bevel it out, like so, shift click, pull it out again, and shift click, pull it out one more time, and scale it in. Shift click, scale it in and bring it back. Shift click and bring it completely back in. Which it don't really matter because these ain't gonna be seen anyway, okay? Okay, now we have that little joint. Let's go ahead and shore it up with our loop slices. Just take your time. Make sure you do all the proper cuts, especially up under here. There's more on this one than there was the last ones. Do this one, this one, this one, this one, ba bam. Bam. Sorry for the sound effects. Sometimes I amuse myself with. A lot of times I listen to music while I'm modeling. But as you know, during training exercise here, there's no music to be played. Now, when we subdivide this, you can see what we got here. Got a nice little pelvis joint there, pivot. Okay. So in our next class, we can build the upper part here. So now that we're done with this, like I said, in our next one, we'll build our top cog. But let's go ahead and see what happens if we can mirror this and there's our mirror I mirrored it in the Z and we're going to scoot this over just a tad okay spacebar drop the tool and now we have the bottom two legs of our mech. And we will see you in the next video.